What's up guys, my name is Shishir Nigam and welcome again to our channel Journey to Freedom where you can follow along on our journey to financial freedom through the worlds of Shopify and dropshipping. So make sure you subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell so that you get to know every single time we put out a brand new video like this one. Today, we're gonna be talking about the top five winning products that you can test right now in the month of June that have been killing it for a few dropshippers. So make sure you stay till the end of the video to catch every single product that you ought to be testing in the current environment um, and make sure you subscribe to our channel drop us a like if you're finding value in the content that is the only thing that we ask of you guys we put in a lot of time and effort into producing these videos for you so make sure you drop us a like so that YouTube can put this content out in front of other folks like you who can benefit from it as well comment below on what you thought about our product selection I personally answer every single comment we don't have any virtual assistants answering comments it's me personally interacting with you guys and we really appreciate all of you who take the time and effort to like and comment on our videos because we're really trying to build a very solid and strong family here that follows our individual journeys, yours and ours, to freedom through the worlds of dropshipping. Without any further ado, let's get right into the topic today. The so top five products for June 2020 that you can test under $50. Here's what we're going to start with. So the Power Ab Roller Trainer. So we're going to show you um, the ad creative currently being used for this product the AliExpress pricing for each of these products and the suppliers and what you can price it at, what your break even return on ad spend should be and the interest that you can target when you start running ads for a product like this on Facebook. So product number one is this Power Ab Roller Trainer. Now, first of all, let's jump over to Facebook to catch the ad creative. Um, and I'm gonna keep the sound on mute so that uh, we don't get uh, interrupted by the noise. But you can see here, essentially this is an at-home ab trainer that you can utilize. Definitely it's a very you know, relevant niche right now. Um, you know, the, the workout niche, gym niche, at-home workout niche is exploding because of the current environment. People are having to work from home. Gyms are closed. So you know, definitely this is a product worth testing. Now it, it may, this is one of the newer products that I have seen. Most of the time we were seeing those, uh, you know, workout elastic bands. Those were really all over the place. This is something new that I've come across. Um, you know, many people feel that the at-home workout niche is saturated now. Uh, it might be saturated for certain products that have been overdone. But if you find something new that is right and that resonates with the consumer, then there is no saturation, right? So it's all about the product selection and the right angles to market the product. So as I mentioned, this is the at-home fitness niche. Now the cost price of this product on AliExpress here, you can see $15 US, 1546 US. And interestingly, which is a very big positive, they have shipping from the United States. So this is a big plus point because it will overcome any of your shipping difficulties if you're having to ship products from China. So you can see here that they ship via FedEx uh, in one to five business days. Now the cost is about 526, which is reasonable for FedEx. The key thing that you have to verify is make sure that you speak to the supplier one-on-one -on -one and ask them for the last few tracking numbers and identify you know whether they've actually been shipped from the United States or not and have they been reaching their customers in that designated time frame because as I've shared in my experience below I'll tag this up here but I personally had this experience where the AliExpress supplier said that there is a US warehouse but they were in fact shipping it from the Chi from their Chinese warehouse so I, I had to really fight a lot with them to to get refunds and had to issue refunds to my customers as well so make sure you watch out for that but this is definitely a good positive starting point. It has a US warehouse and roughly about $20, 2072 including shipping is our cost. So this is a, pro is a product which I would say, you know, you can try to retail at $49.99. And, you know, yes, it's not exactly three times, but it's roughly two and a half times the cost price. And it's a good starting point to test off at. My, my um, approach generally to testing products is I'll try to test products at a lower price range first. I won't try to maximize my profit right up front because um, you know if I'm pricing it too high, even though it's a good product, people may not buy, right? So when I'm testing a product, my objective is to you know identify whether it's a good product that has demand, 
right? So I don't want pricing to be the factor in the beginning. I would rather that I get a few sales with a lower margin that, t that proves to me, yes, I should continue testing it. And then later on, if I'm getting decent sales, then I'm gonna try and bump up my price to see if my sales momentum remains, right? So that gives me a, a way in. But if I'm pricing this at 70 bucks, then people may just, you know, not even bother trying to, to buy it. So as a result, if I don't get any purchases right away, I'm, I have to kill my product because I haven't got any proof of concept. So I hope you see my point. Now, in this case here, with this suggested retail price, your break even return on ad spend is 1.7 times. Now, what does that mean? So break even return on ad spend refers to how much money you can spend on Facebook before uh, you you, st you basically start making a loss, essentially. So the difference between these two prices, the formula to calculate this ratio is you take the retail price, subtract your cost price, and the result will be the profit margin, right? The profit margin is how much you can afford to spend on Facebook in order to get that one sale, right? That one sale is gonna get you for $9.99. So, you take for $9.99 the retail price and divide it by the profit margin to get your break-even return on ad spend of 1.7 times. So if your return on ad spend is anything below 1.7, you're making a loss. If it's anything above 1.7, you're making a profit. So I like to use that as my benchmark when I assess my overall profitability for any one product. Now, interest targeting. For this particular product, you can target interest like strength training, bodybuilding, P90X, which is a you know fitness regime, fat loss, gym, you know words related, related terms like that. So this is product number one that you can test right now, and this uh, dropshipper has obviously gotten some good feedback on this um, product. That's why they're still running ads for it. Second product is a gardening product. It's a grafting and cutting tool. Let's quickly hop over to Facebook to watch the video quickly again on mute. So you can see here what this is. This is actually a grafting tool. And you know, many of you may not be familiar with the term, but grafting is what many people do in gardening. And it's a technique that they utilize to essentially merge and, and clone different types of plants. And this is a tool that allows that to happen quite easily. So this is definitely a tool that is interesting. Um, again, you see lots of comments and engagement on the ad here. Let's hop over to the AliExpress page. You can see here, this is a positive sign, you know, not a whole lot of orders, but very good reviews, 4.9 stars. Um, this product is priced at about $13.59 and then about $5.50 in shipping um, through AliExpress standard shipping. So this is definitely an interesting niche currently as well. Gardening is very, very um, a prominent right now, again, because people are at home, so they're having to do stuff <laughs> at home. You know, home improvement is doing well, gardening is doing very well. So you can see here the cost price, including shipping, is 19.17. Again, I, would, I think this would do well at a retail price of 49.99, um, and that leads to a break-even return on ad spend of 1.6 times. So as I mentioned in the previous um, product, the break-even ROAS is what you need as a bare minimum to be profitable on any one, any one product. So this can be an interesting tool in the current env environment, especially summer is coming. Most people are having to, uh, to be stuck at home. So gardening is definitely picking up. Interests that you should be targeting are things like the words gardening, Home Depot. Many uh, people who are into gardening are also into all the various tools and, and the garden shed that's typically is, is a part of all Home Depots. Um, you can target things like nursery, flowering, flowering plants. And then you can just click on the suggested interest to look for other similar uh, interests that you can target as well. So I think this one definitely has a good potential as well. And then you can always try to upsell different um, gardening tools that may also be relevant to this kind of buyer, right? So that's how you build up your average order value. Hope you're finding value in the content so far, guys. And if you are, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so that you get to know every single time that we put out a brand new video. And make sure you stay till the end of this one to catch all the content and comment below on what you like and what you'd like to hear about. Stay with us. Now, 
Third product is this interesting body shaping roller. I've not seen this one before. Let's hop over to watch the quick advertisement here. So you can see this. It's a it's a massage tool um, that that is helping to relieve muscle tension, body shaping, metabolism. So there's quite a few benefits being claimed here. Um, my personal approach would be to maybe tone that down a little. Don't claim too much. You know, it's mainly appearing to be a massage roller. Um, and you can see here, if you go to AliExpress, this is the listing. Quite a lot of orders, which is again, you know, there's, there's that gives you a proof of concept that it has worked before. Um, rating is not ideal, but you can review the ratings. And what I'd like to do then is go to Amazon.com to then check the, the genuine reviews of people who are buying this product off of Amazon. If there's that many orders on AliExpress, I, I can guarantee you this product will definitely be also listed on Amazon.com. So you can look at the genuine reviews there and try to understand what people's experience has been. First and foremost, my priority is always that I want to sell a high quality product. I do not want to sell a low quality product because that has very, very bad long term ramifications for your business. So make sure whatever you're selling has good reviews both on AliExpress and on Amazon if you want to avoid a lot of the headaches that come along with selling poor quality products, even if they may be cheap. So my approach is I would much rather sell an expensive high ticket item that is high quality than a cheap, you know, low ticket item that is low quality. So this uh, AliExpress listing comes with its own video as well. So you can use that possibly in producing your own unique um, ad creative. So the cost price of this um, body shaping roller is fourteen fourteen. Again, that is a suitable price for selling it at four nine ninety nine. Again, under fifty dollars. And because you have a bigger margin to play with here, you have a lower break-even ROAS of 1.4x. So it's more easy to be profitable when you have a bigger margin that you can play with, right? So because essentially it allows you to spend more on Facebook to get that purchase um, and the break-even return on ad spend is lower. Now interest that you can target for this product would be things like weight loss, you know, beauty, massage, and, and fitness in general. So those are very humongous um, interests on Facebook, and that may be a good thing because currently broad interest targeting is doing well um, on Facebook for the algorithm. Product number four is this foldable dog swimming pool. Now this again is a summer product, it's in the pet niche. Um, let's go over here to watch the video quickly. So you can see here, it's like a pet dog pool, it, you know, it's a very suitable, it's an inflatable product that you can set up in the summertime. Uh, you know, it's an outdoor product that people will use when they're out in the gardens during the summertime. Uh, this is the AliExpress listing for it. You can see here, decent reviews, not a lot of orders, but decent reviews on the ones that have ordered. Again, same thing, I would check on Amazon for the specific, more accurate reviews that people are leaving on Amazon.com. Um, you can see here, this is a bit more expensive for shipping, most likely because of the size of the product. The size of the product and the packaging has a lot to do with how much it costs to ship it to the US. Uh, but as, as you can see here, the cost for this item here is $11 for this variant, and the cost is 11, more than the, the product price. But in the current environment, you almost have to account for that. So our cost price, including shipping, is 226 um, again, at a suggested retail of $49.99, you end up with a break-even ROAS of 1.8 times. So not the most profitable, but again, I would use it as a, as a starting point to test whether the product sells at that price, because if it does not sell at this price, then it definitely will not sell at a higher price, right? And you know that you don't have any room to reduce it anymore either. So, you know, you test it at a lower price to essentially eliminate pricing as one of the variables, right? So 1.8x is the break even return on ad spend for this product. Um, interest targeting, you can target interests like dogs, golden retriever, dog food, dog grooming, lots of dog interests that are, that are available on Facebook to target. You can target you know, dog magazines, you can target specific dog food brands, uh, lots of different little things like that that will allow you to reach the right target audience on Facebook for this product. So this is definitely again another good one that is currently you know would tr I would ex expect it would trend right now because it's summertime and also a pet niche is always um, you know evergreen all year round. 
Product number five, our final product for the day is the, this colorful LED faucet light. This I thought was quite interesting. Let's watch a quick video on, on this. Um, you can see it's a, this is definitely a low ticket item. Uh, and it, essentially it, it attaches to any faucet that you have and then you end up with this glow effect because it's a light, right? So you can see this has also received a lot of positive engagement. Uh, it was launched only in April. Uh, and this is the AliExpress listing for the product. You can see it's definitely a, a, a low ticket item. It costs only $1.60 and it costs only about $2 to ship it because it's a very small product, right? So not a lot of orders, but my guess is that you may find many other suppliers on AliExpress selling the same product that have quite a lot of more orders. So flipping back here, our total cost price for this is only $3.59. Um, so definitely a low ticket item. I would again try to make sure and check on the quality of these items through reviews to make sure that they hold up well. One potential issue that I see with this is compatibility issues. Oftentimes faucets have different types of openings. So account for that. Make sure you understand for yourself what kind of faucets this fits, fits on and make sure you address that in an FAQ section on the product page. So the recommended retail price for this could be $14.99, given it's a very low ticket price, and the break-even ROAS for this would be 1.3x, because you have significant margin here. Um, my suggestion for this, given this is a very low ticket item, try your best to package this such that it's not just one faucet you're selling, sell a pack of three, a pack of five, right? Because then that will bump up um, your retail price to 30 or $40, while your cost will still be under 10, right? So that's a great way to increase the average order value. Most people at home have more than one faucet, right? So, you know, have a pack of three or a pack of five or a pack of 10 that you sell and then have increasing discounts based on the quantity that they buy. So that would be a great idea to bump up your average order value and not just sell, you know, small individual, small ticket items. So interests that you would want to target are things like home improvement, DIY, Home Depot, and Ikea. All of these relate to home improvement. Um, and again, that's a niche that is exploding these days. So these are some of the top five products that you that I feel are, are very, very ripe for testing right now. They've done well. Um, and definitely test these products on your dropshipping stores. Tell us what the results, the results are. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, I hope you guys found some value in the content. Um, we put in a lot of effort to put this content out and create it for you. Make sure you drop us a like. Comment below on what you thought about our ideas. Um, I'll personally be replying to every single comment that you guys leave on the channel. Um, and thank you so much for those of you who are engaging with us. We love to chat with you and get to know you better. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bells so that you get, you get to know every single time we put our brand new video like this one today. And stay tuned for the next one.